Hey, John Cristani here. Are you trying to get to that next level of success, but just things seem to come in your way? Well, I'm gonna be going over how to curate a success mindset in this video, and I'm gonna be discussing the topic of curating your media. So stay tuned, listen up. This has helped me a lot. Hey, John Cristani here, and for those of you who don't know, I've been able to create a business that does $7 million, it did $7 million last year, with no employees. And the way I've done that is through an insane level of productivity. I've been just, you know, in terms of battling yourself to get squeeze every like ounce of production and revenue out of yourself is what it takes to really be successful as an entrepreneur and give yourself the best chances of success. So I'm gonna be going over a few things here of how to curate your social media. And I'm gonna be sharing my experience of how I've been able to do this, and it's not easy. This is some of the hardest work you will ever do in your entire life, folks. But it's very important if you wanna become successful. So let's go into the first thing. So the first thing is emails. Now. Every single week, what I do is I actually go through and delete emails. I mean, how many times have you just found yourself with tons of emails in your inbox and you find a catchy headline, right? You're like, ooh, there's a discount. Ooh, there's a new kind of marketing trick. Ooh, you know, this looks interesting or this event sounds appealing. That's an interesting subject line. I'm gonna open up the email and start browsing. Wrong. Remember, these are sent to you by marketers like myself. They're meant to get your attention away from whatever you're doing and start reading through them. Whatever it is you're into, the emails are built to get you away from what you're doing so that you are no longer in control of your time, some marketer is. So unsubscribe, and I realize the irony by the way, I'm a marketer, <laughs> but listen up because I'm trying to help you become successful. Unsubscribe from every single email list that you are on, except mine, of course. Unsubscribe from everything. You don't need emails. There are some essential emails that you may want to get. Like if PayPal sends you money, you might want to receive that. But you want to unsubscribe from all of their marketing communications because they're just trying to sell you business loans or credit cards or something unsubscribe and I found that it's gotten to the point where I literally have to unsubscribe from a bunch of emails every single week I go through my inbox. I will spend about 30 minutes a week just unsubscribing from everything. I'm relentless and what this has allowed me to do is I don't have much junk kind of getting in my way trying to take control of my mind because that junk is out there to control our minds. And that's the most important real estate that you have. I go through all folders. I go through, except the spam folder, but I go through the promotions tab, the updates tab, the social tab, and I unsubscribe from everything. I advise you to do that. Feel free, if you are down to play along, pause this video right now and just spend the next 15 minutes unsubscribing from emails and then return back. The next important way to kind of curate your media consumption is to get off of social media. Right, I told you this is gonna be pretty difficult. Get off social media. Social media is infectious, it's an addiction. It trains our mind to look for these notifications, these bells, these dings, these emails, these text messages when somebody responds to you know a post or puts up a new post or what not. Social media is an addiction. You don't need it in your life. You'll find that a lot of the people, once you get off social media, do you interact with them if you're not on the same social media? Are you still interested in what they have to say? I got off social media in a series of waves, right? The first thing was I started deleting some of these apps from my phone so that I could only use the social media on my computer or when I was logged into it through a web browser on my phone. I found people would get angry at me. They'd say, I've been trying to contact you, John. You know what? You don't respond to any of my Facebook messages. I don't see you anymore. What are you doing? You fell off the face of the planet. So you'll get initial waves of frustration from people around you as you detach from social media, whatever it is that you use. 
You'll also feel maybe a sense of loneliness because a lot of the TikTok videos or TikTokers or, you know, Twitter, Twitterers or the Instagrammers, you don't see them as much. And maybe you end up feeling a little bit out of the loop and you don't understand what people are always talking about anymore. Oh, Dan Bilzerian just posted this crazy photo of him like hanging off the balcony with a bunch of hot chick. You won't be as in the loop about that. One of the hard things was not being up to date on news because I used the Facebook news feed to get most of my news to understand what people were doing or where people were. And when I got off of Facebook, quickly I was out of the loop when I would meet people and talk to them about what's going on in the world. But in fact, this is actually a nice way to interact with people because I can go places, I can go to restaurants and I can ask them what's new in the world. And I learn things. It's not just a way for me to say, hey, you know, it's not just a way for me to make conversation. It's actually a real way that I can gather news. I can get up to date. You know, when I walk by, newspaper stands, I read the headlines. When I'm at a restaurant, I might watch a little TV while I'm sitting down to eat and I get some of the top highlights. So you're not completely distant and it makes going out more interesting. Social media is very hard to detach from. I suggest you completely get off of all social media. I do not use social media anymore other than to post content that other people can consume. I focus on being a producer, not a consumer. And that's kind of an important mindset overall to curate if you want to become successful. Now, at this point, I actually invite you once again to pause the video. And if you want to play along, go on your phone, start deleting social media apps, go on your social media, start deactivating your social accounts. This is a very difficult step. Or what you can do if you want to do it in waves is deactivate a couple social media accounts or make an announcement on social media that you're going to be removing yourself from social media and give people another way to contact you. Now, in my case, what I do is I use email. I use email and I use one chat app for business. That's it. If people want to contact me, they send me an email. That's the one way people have to communicate with me. So I encourage you now, pause the video and start calling the herd of your social media addiction. Very difficult. Now, the third tip to curating your media is getting rid of chat apps. Now, once again, this is kind of related to social media because a lot of chat apps, such as Instagram or Facebook or some of these other socials are chat apps too, right? Getting rid of your social media gives you a chance to also get rid of your propensity your urge, your addiction to chat. Now, in my case, I use Skype to chat with people, but I purely do it for business use. I don't take people that are hitting me up for random stuff. Purely, I do transactional business through Skype, meaning if there's people I'm paying or people that's, that are paying me, I work with them there. Really, it's just business partners. Nobody actually pays me directly. I only have two products I sell, so if people want to pay me money, they buy one of those products. So chat apps, I'd call them down. If you use multiple ways to chat with people, get rid of the other chat apps that aren't as meaningful. Get down to one. And once you get down to one, I like Skype and many other marketers, if you're getting into affiliate marketing, which is where I make my money, I would encourage you to use Skype as well because that's just where the industry is. Different industries have different chat apps that they use. Boxer is another popular one for marketers and there are many others. But I suggest wean it down to one. That'll keep your focus on one thing. The other thing I like about Skype is there isn't some sort of like social media feed associated with it. It's purely a chat app. Because Skype is only a chat app, I'm not seduced into getting on the social media feeds or what have you. That's very dangerous. Now the fourth tip to curating your media is one of the hardest, and it's your phone. Your phone is the most insane, addictive, time-sucking invention of all time. It's there to take your mind into it and to have you keep coming back to it wherever it is at all times of day. Your phone can be the biggest, hardest, thing to get rid of. And I'm talking about smartphones. Maybe you only have a phone, right? Maybe you don't have a computer, but your phone 
is gonna keep sucking you into it until it gets all of your time. There are 7 billion data points for Google and Facebook and Instagram and Twitter and TikTok to draw from to figure out human psychology. They know you better than you know yourself. They know your habits. They know how to get you. They know how to trick you to come back. They know what sort of alerts to feed you to get you coming back to them. You can allow them to do that and be part of the mindless herd of sheep, or you can actually take action and cut yourself off from this abusive relationship. What I recently moved back to, which was really hard for me, was this. It's a flip phone. Okay. I love it. You can drop it. The battery lasts forever or almost forever. But what I found myself doing was even getting rid of many of my social media. I still found myself going back on social media just to read people's comments or to, you know, I'd, I'd log on to one of my social accounts through the web browser and I check things. I'd go on my ClickBank or Digistore, my other affiliate accounts and check stats of how much money I made. I'd go on to my banking, I'd buy stuff through my phone, all sorts of things to get back on the internet to check things out, even with all notifications turned off, with zero notifications. I mean, that's one of the first things you can do to get rid of your phone addiction, is turn off all notifications. But I'm advocating here, if you have a computer or a laptop, completely getting rid of your smartphone and going back to a $20, this is $20, maybe 15, something like that, $20 flip phone or a very basic phone that can't even support apps. This does not support any apps whatsoever. You know, it's not an Android or Apple or anything like that. It's just a dumb phone. And the dumb phone allows me to keep control of my time and do better things to make money. Phone addiction is really serious and it's very real and there's not a lot of people talking about it. But if you can make the leap to do these things, you'll lead a much, much, much more productive life. And in order to compete in today's society, you need every single ounce of energy and productivity that you can possibly muster. Your quality of life will not go down when you remove social media from your life. It may feel that way for a few days, for a few weeks, maybe even a few months, but overall your life and your ability to be an entrepreneur will get far better over time. Thanks for watching. And if you're down to play along, let me know what steps you took to cure your social media addiction. Another thing about this video, if you've made it this far, let me know what your thoughts are on these kind of mindset videos. I've purposefully taken an approach that I understand many people won't like. The most of my audience will not want to watch these videos, but I want to try something new out where I talk about things that people need rather than just what people want to see or hear. So thank you for watching. Thank you for playing along. I'm committed to talking about success for a little bit. Have a good day.